this is part two of subtracting integers. On the first part, I showed you the meaning behind subtracting integers. And on this video, I'm going to focus on the, the algebraic way. The one thing you need to remember, the rule for subtracting integers is to add the opposite. And let me explain that right now. This first problem. We have 8 minus 3. If we use the rule of adding the opposite, we'll bring our 8 down. We'll change our subtraction to plus, to addition. And the opposite of 3 is negative 3. And then we'll use what we learned in the adding integers video. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we want to add 3 negatives. So 8 plus negative 3. I have 8 positives and 3 negatives. I have my 0 pairs here. And that leaves me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So... 8 minus 3 is 5. Here's another one. 9 minus 7. Bring your 9 down. You want to add, so change your subtraction to addition. The opposite of 7 is negative 7. And by now, you should realize that whenever you add integers with different signs, you subtract their absolute values. So 9 minus 7 is 2. And the sign of your result is the sign of the largest absolute value. So the absolute value of 9 is more than the absolute value of 7, so that's why my answer is 2. If you don't understand this, please watch my video on adding integers. The next problem we have is 4 minus negative 1. So I have my 4. I want to add the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. So therefore, 4 plus 1 is 5. So 5 minus negative, I'm sorry, 4 minus negative 1 is 5. Here's another problem. Bring down your 10. Add the opposite. Add the opposite. So we're going to make right plus. The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. So 10 plus 4 is 14. So therefore 10 plus negative 4 is 14. The next problem we have is negative 4 minus negative 1. So I have negative 4. I want to add the opposite. Opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. I mean, I'm going to go through the same process I did with my adding integers. So I have 4 negatives. And I want to add 1 positive. That creates 1 0 pair. So therefore the answer is negative 3. So negative 4 minus negative 1 equals negative 3. I would like for you to work some problems now. Try some on your own. And here they are. This is your first one. Your second one is 7 minus negative 6. The third one is 9 minus 8. 
and let's try this one for number four. Let's try uh, negative two minus negative five. If you'll stop the video now and work those problems. Okay, welcome back. We have negative 6. You want to add the opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. So my answer is going to be negative 6 plus 4, which is negative 2. The next problem, number 2, I want to bring my 7. Add the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. So 7 plus 6 is 13. The next one, I want to keep my 9. I want to add the opposite of negative of positive 8 is negative 8. 9 plus negative 8 is 1. And my last problem, I have negative 2. I want to add the opposite of negative 5 is 5. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. If you have some difficulty with this step, I would suggest you go back and look at the adding integers video because they'll I go through an explanation of how you add integers. But as you can tell, if you can add integers, subtraction is just a piece of cake. Okay? Um, thank you for viewing my video. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please email me at mathwithmoon at gmail.com and give me your suggestions. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.